Good afternoon, kings and queens, and welcome to Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L. I am your host, Lady L, from Success Beyond Strategies, LLC, building strategies that become successful actions, helping business owners and entrepreneurs identify their vision, mission, and purpose, turning them into legal, successful, and profitable business entities. Brought to you by the Magnet Exchange Group, a book club, social club of like-minded individuals with a powerful magnetic attraction, developing healthy relationships, positive personal development, sharing wisdom and experiences in generational wealth development and wealth preservation. Hello, hello. This segment is called Business Empowerment. Days, D-A-Y-Z of the week, dishing out some golden nuggets. Monday, we had a fresh start. Tuesday, we tackled it. Wednesday, we work that thing out. And guess what today is? Counting our blessings. Thankful Thursdays. Want to talk about the power. We've been doing this week, we've been doing a power series. And we talked about the power of determination. And now we're going to talk about the power found in gratitude, thankfulness, appreciation and gratefulness. In our community this week, we have been talking very heavily about paying it forward. And I find that when you are a giver, when you're going through challenges, circumstances and situations, you know the best thing you can do is give. Be there for someone else or something else that you can contribute, that you can give of yourself. If you're having challenges with anger and bitterness and unforgiveness and resentment because of things that have happened into your life, when you understand that the things that have happened to you, not happened for you, but happened from you, we create our own atmosphere. So whatever's on the inside of you exudes out from you. And it will continue to draw those same things to you the more you pour that out. So you know the cure for that? Counting your blessings. Because if you've lived any number of years and you are in any level of adulthood, you have something to be thankful for because you didn't have to be here. Because COVID took out its number in 2020 and you're still here. So that means you still have a purpose. God still has a plan. You still have a mission and a vision to complete, and you still have lives to make a difference in, including your own. And the one thing about healing of the heart, when you serve other people with your products, with your services, with your businesses, with your organizations, with your ministries, it has a healing component built on the inside of it. That's how magnificent our God is. It's called grace and mercy. And he's given you a whole lot of it when you were in your mess. And some mess you're probably still doing. We're in this flesh. As spirits having a human experience, they're called lessons. Get over it. What happens to you is not unique. Painful, yes. It does have different mental, social, emotional, and physical effects. But you have the power. And we're talking about power this week. And we're going to be talking about power the rest of this month. You have the power to change your mind, your heart, how you see things, how you hear things. You have the power to change. And how you can change the quickest is to serve somebody else. No motives. No hidden agendas, just serve. There are so many people out there that is way worse off than you. And God is speaking to us all the time to be a blessing to somebody. It could be a smile. I have changed so many people's outward disposition just by smiling at them. Never said a word. I would just smile. And when you smile, there's this glow that flows out from you to them. And some of them may be a little bit, mm, what's she smiling at me for? 
It's because they've never had that done that way to them. And it's been so long since it's been done that they repel from it because in their mind, their mind goes erasing. All right, what does she want? What do he want? What they going to ask me? You know, all these things start flooding in their head. Come on now, floods in yours too sometimes. Tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> but when you have a servant mentality and you make a decision to have a servant heart in your business, in your ministry, with your families, with yourself, sometimes you just need to serve yourself with some self-care. We've been heavy into that these past few weeks, really a couple of months now, we've been driven that in our social book club, the Magnet Exchange Group and, and Life Changing Alliances. When you make yourself happy, because you are responsible for that, nobody else is responsible for making you happy. Did you know that? You're responsible for making yourself happy. We have to start being accountable first to ourselves then we can be open to be accountable to others because people have so much to give, but no outlets to pour it out on. That's what I love about our community. We have that outlet and we pour it out in floodgates. And it is so healing. If you are being challenged with anger and bitterness and you don't understand why you're being so frustrated in your business, why things aren't working, check out your heart condition because you're only drawing in what you are pouring out, which leads me to our definitions for today. Let's talk about the definition of gratitude because we hear these words and we think we know the definition and we might know them on the surface, but let's go a little bit deeper. Gratitude is a positive emotion. Let me repeat that. Gratitude is a positive emotion that involves being thankful and appreciative and it's associated with several mental and physical health benefits. When you experience gratitude, when you feel grateful for something or someone in your life, and the response with feelings of kindness and warmth and other forms of generosity, when you allow that to overshadow and overtake and flood you, now you have something that's coming out. I say keep your reservoir full for you so that you can serve from the overflow, so that you're not burnt out, you're not going from a, a drained position or posture, you can't keep pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, and you're not taking the time to pour back into yourself. That's why spending that quiet time with God, that meditative time, giving him the opportunity to pour into you so that you have something to give, it's not an option. It's necessary. If it was necessary for our savior to do it, regularly, daily, throughout the day, we're no greater than him. He needed to do it. We need to do that. The definition of thankfulness. To be in a posture of thankfulness, it is a conscious, meaning your mind is set on it. You set your mind on the benefits of receiving for what we are about to receive make you thankful. When you think, <laughs> one of my kings, King Gene, he said, when I think <laughs> of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God, thank God, thank God. Take five minutes, take five minutes every day, especially when you are going through all hell breaking loose around you. If it's not one thing, it's something else. If it's not one thing, it's something else behind that. Take five minutes. First of all, I told you about breathing. Take in that four seconds of just counting real slow. One, to expand that diaphragm. Hold it for two counts and slowly release it for six counts. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. You may have to do that a couple of times. Then I want you to take five minutes, five seconds to think about something good that God has done. You woke up this morning. You woke up in your right mind. You had your sight. You had your sense of smell because thanks to COVID, a lot of people don't have their sense of smell. They don't have their sense of taste. They don't hear. J just five seconds, your five senses. You got all your fingers. Some people don't have all their fingers. You have all your toes. Some people don't have all their toes. Some people don't have their limbs. Some people function without limbs and they've had to take other portions of their body to function daily like we do with every faculty that we have. And thank God for it, that they still move. Some people, they're arthritic. They can't even move their hands or their feet. They can't move their knees. They're, they're in joint pain and all kinds. Count your blessings. Because if you don't, that's how a root of bitterness begins. And it grows just like roots of a tree. It grows. You don't want it to keep growing because that's not going to help you. It's not. So be thankful for the little things, the fact that you can eat, the fact that you have something to eat. There's people out there that are homeless and hungry. They have no shelter. You have a bed to sleep in. You have a roof over your head. You have family. You have connections. You have friends. You have a business that you can serve people with. Come on, count your blessings. The difference between gratitude and thankfulness, being thankful is a feeling, it's an expression. Being grateful is an action because it's a positive emotion that gives you the ability to exercise to someone else. The definition of appreciation a feeling of expression of admiration, approval, or gratitude. Those that know me and know me well, and I don't use it as vain repetition. When I say it, I mean it from my heart. I'm always telling people how much I appreciate them because I genuinely do. I don't take people for granted because they can be here this second and gone the next second. So I don't take people for granted. The worst person I try to find some, at least one good thing about them, they laugh. I like their laugh. Their smile is, is, is cute or interesting. Find something good about somebody, please. There's at least one thing because God created them. There's one thing that they just may have nice hands. Oh, you got some nice hands. Anything, pay a compliment. A compliment does not cost you anything but time and a willingness to speak. That's all. You got vocal cords to speak. There's people that cannot talk. Be mindful. Be appreciative of people. Be appreciative of what you have. Be appreciative for the clothes that you have on your back, whatever they are. Be appreciative for the things that you have been given, that you have been blessed with. When you are walking in appreciation, it's about acknowledging the perceived value of something or someone. See the value. Everybody was born with value. Find that value in someone, even if they could get on your last nerve. Oh, they get on my last nerve, but mm, they can cook a mean piece of chicken. Something, anything, anything. Because again, this is about your heart condition. It's about keeping it clean from bitterness, anger, resentment, fierce anger. Do you know there are people that are killing people today because of intense anger? over the littlest thing. It's like, are you serious? 
but you don't know what's the straw that breaks the camel's back, as they say. In other words, you don't know what's the last draw that a person can handle or take, that it can seem so senseless to us, but it will cause them to snap and lose everything. That is so critical to understand. That is so critical to understand. Appreciation is more than just a common act. It aids gratitude and make gratitude more effective. It aids and abeds in feeling more and more thankful. And it's a direct beneficiary of both gratitude and thankfulness on behalf of someone else or something else. When I looked up that word, I said, wow, I said, that's why I love to use it so much. And that's why I, I love to experience it because it does give out that appreciative action to another person. You don't know what another person is going through. They may have been doing everything they could possibly do for family, colleagues at work, business, employees, and it's like, can somebody just find something good to say to me, to let me know that I'm on the right track with my business, I'm on the right track with my organization, I'm on the right track with my ministry, that I'm on the right track with what I'm doing, with the vision, mission, and purpose God gave me. And God will always send that something or someone to say, yeah, you are appreciated. You are, we are grateful and thankful for you. And the definition of gratefulness, an appreciative benefit that's received. You appreciate something that has been given to you or done for you. It's expressing gratitude and just grateful thanks. It's affording the pleasure of contentment. Knowing that you are grateful for something, it brings a contentment. It brings an ease. It brings a peacefulness. Knowing that that customer walked out of your establishment and they were thankful and they said, thank you, I really appreciate that. Or thank you, you know, for your service. Or, you know, when you give that tip and we, we've done, we've had a whole mission about how to tip people that serve us, even our cooks, our chefs, anybody that services you, that paying it forward mentality the contentment, the peace that it gives you to knowing that you just bless somebody. And especially if they have tears running down their face because, mm, excuse me, that just hit me. Where you just bless somebody that they just got finished praying, God, please send me some help. And you are that answer. Be the answer in your business. Be the solution in your organization. Be the answer and the solution in your ministry. The services that you provide, be an answer. Solve a problem. And you watch all the challenges that you may be facing in your business right now. When you start flooding yourself with gratitude and thankfulness and appreciation and gratefulness, for your business, for your services that you provide. And you're going to start seeing all of that coming back to you because you're sowing it out unconditionally without looking for anything in return, just knowing that you're operating in a principle that works regardless, gives you that contentment. You're being pleasing by a reason of comfort. You're supplying someone that is did, that is uncomfortable, that is being discomforted, that through your gratefulness can bring a comfort and alleviate discomfort. It alleviates discomfort in you when you do it. Please, ma'am, please, sir, find the power in gratitude, find the power in thankfulness, find the power in appreciation, Find the power in gratefulness. Thank you so much for joining me today on Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L. 
in our segment, Business Empowerment, Days of the Week, dishing out some golden nuggets. Now, tomorrow is Business Strategies and Tips, where I bring in a special guest. And I'm so excited about this guest. I work with him directly on a daily basis. And I am honored and privileged to be able to bring him before you tomorrow. Please link into my website, successbeyondstrategies.com. If you are looking to develop your business, give us a shout out, fill in that information on the contact us. And we'll be glad to get back with you to make sure that you are setting up and establishing a successful, profitable business. Follow me on Instagram, Success Beyond Strategies, that's S T R A T E G Z dot com. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button and that bell on my YouTube channel, Lady Vern. And I guarantee you, every day when you get that feed, and it's going to be just what your business needs and just what you need personally to go that next step, to keep tackling it and working it out. Check us out every Monday through Friday, our Magnet Exchange Group, Social Club, Book Club, our 10 a.m. call, our Zoom room, 924-039-3360. And at nine o'clock, Life Changing Alliances, our Zoom call Monday through Friday, 404-333-8430. With that being said, thank you so much. Please leave some comments on, on the posts that are being made out of this show. I'd love to get your feedback. Give me some areas that you are challenging with, that you need some uh, recommendations, some advisement, and I will be more than happy to address them on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye for now.